Hi, this is Lindsay Kenny, EFT Master. Again, if you've watched some of my other videos on YouTube, I want to talk to you today about the Golden Gate Technique. This is a really simple little technique that can make a huge difference in your effectiveness with EFT so that it goes smoother. It, the Golden Gate Technique is just really three sections and it helps transition from where you are with a negative issue to where you want to be, which is letting it go, having that issue be neutral. And it's really pretty simple. Think of the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate actually has three sections and there are three sections of this technique. Think of it as the first section of when your intensity about your issue is between a 10 and an 8, when you're fairly charged about it. When you're doing that, when you're at that level, stay with the negative about the issue, inventing about it or talking about it, just stay with the feelings of it. So your setup would be something like, even though I'm um, really upset with Betty, I love and accept who I am, even though it was so unfair that she cheated me and took my money when I trusted her, I still respect who I am, and I respect her, except I'm really mad at her. Some negative, whatever your negative would normally be. Then on the next, um, that's just the setup. So then on the tapping points, you would do a, a round just saying your, whatever your issue is, the negative issue. And I go all the way around just stating the negative part of the issue. This anger at Susie, this betrayal by Mary, the embarrassment by what, whoever it is or the shame about being overweight. Just stay on that for a round or two and then vent a little bit on the second round. I really feel terrible about it. I'm really, I feel guilty and ashamed that I'm overweight. It's embarrassing having this clutter in my house. I, I hate having people over. I hate that I'm in, um, procrastinating. So I'm, I'm jumping to different subjects. You stay on the same subject. But I'm just saying vent on the negative until you feel that the intensity is down to an eight or below an eight. Then you shift to where you want to be, what we call a desire statement. So it's the second segment of the bridge when you're at an intensity between a seven and a four. This is Charlie, one of my favorite cats. So the second round, you would say, even though I have this problem, I do want to go. Part of me wants to let it go. Part of me doesn't want to let it go. <clears throat> I love and accept both parts, something like that on the bridge or on the setup statement. Then when you tap, you do one round of the negative again. This problem, this problem, all the way around. On the second round, you would say what you want. I really want to let this go. I want to be free from this frustration. I want to let go of this anger. I want to get rid of this shame. Um, I would love to feel good and, or neutral even about this. Just all the way around saying a desire statement. It's okay to let it go. It's all right to let it go. I give myself permission to let it go or get over it. Any statement that expresses a desire. So you're transitioning between your subconscious, which is holding on to it, and your conscious mind, which is saying, no, I want to be rid of this thing. Because especially with something like anger, there's always a part of us that kind of wants to hold on to it, to punish the other person, or frustration, or uh, resentment. There's a part of us that just say, I don't want to let this go. And we're going to talk about that in the reversals video. But for now, go ahead and give a voice to that other side of you. And you can even say, I want to let this go. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I want to be over this. No, I don't. Uh, I want to hang on to it. I'll show them. I'll just punish them with my anger. No, this isn't working. I want to let it go. Vent and kind of just come up with whatever your, your subconscious is saying to you. Just allow yourself to do that. And do that for two or three rounds until your intensity is down to a three. So between a seven and a four, you do the venting and saying, I want to let it go or some other desire statement and even putting in the argument of, no, I don't want to. I want to hold on to it. I want to punish them. That'll teach them. If I'm miserable, that'll show them. So that until you're down to a three, then switch to Pat Carrington's choice statement. And that's my favorite part because that gives you the power again. So I want you to say, even though a part of me is still holding on to this anger or whatever it is, another part of me that's wiser wants to let go. And I choose to let that part of me win. I choose to let go of this issue enough already and I love myself for that. So you do that two or three times on the setup, making a choice of even though I still have it, I'm ready to let it go and so I choose to let it go. Then do, the, do one round of the negative, the remaining issue, remaining issue, whatever your issue is, all the way around saying the remaining issue, just one round of the negative. The next round, you do a choice. I choose to let this go. 
I choose to forget about it. I choose to forgive him. I understand that he's just a jerk. <laughs> That's just the way she is. And I choose to let it go. I choose to completely get over this. <clears throat> I choose to be happy again. Um, I choose to just move on with my life. I choose to completely abolish this negative feeling. A positive statement it can be how you want to feel. I choose to feel happy and joyful again or free from this. Or I choose to let it go, get over it, put it behind me, dissolve it, um, evaporate it. Any, neg any statement that's saying that you want to make a positive move. Then the third round, you alternate a negative and a positive. Again, you, you haven't done the setup again. You're doing three rounds, one negative, one positive, <clears throat> and then alternating. Say, remaining issue. I choose to let it go. Remaining issue, I choose to eliminate it. Any remaining negative emotion about that incident, I choose to let it go. Any remaining negative feelings, anger, frustration, resentment, hate, shame, whatever it might be, I choose to dissolve it right now. I choose to forgive that person. <clears throat> I choose to completely eliminate this issue. And then take a deep breath and check in and see where you are. If you're still at a one or two and there's still something left, then simply do another round alternating the issues. Another thing to do <clears throat> is the gamut point. And the gamut is when it's a one or below, I usually do the gamut points, which is um, the bone between the ring and the little fingers. You simply tap there and say, <clears throat> Just the reminder part of the phrase, remaining issue, whatever it is for you, remaining shame, guilt, anger, frustration, embarrassment, resentment, just say that, remaining issue. And then you close your eyes tightly, remaining issue, open them wide, remaining issue, look down uh, hard to the right, remaining issue, hard to the left, remaining issue, and then move your eyes around in a big circle to the right while saying that reminder statement. You can just do it one time, remaining issue, then to the left, remaining issue, and I'm the first to hum the first two lines of a song, happy birthday, jingle bells, whatever it might be, like <laughs> count to five quickly, one, two, three, four, five, and then the last two lines, <laughs> you're balancing the right and left hemispheres of the brain to, to polish off an issue really nicely, and then I usually do one more round of the alternating. Any remaining feelings about this issue, I choose to completely absolve it. Any remaining negative feelings, I choose to let it go. Any remaining anger, frustration, or resentment, I choose to neutralize it. Any remaining um, negativity toward this person, I choose to forgive them. <clears throat> I choose to allow myself to let this go. I choose to feel happy, joyful, and relaxed. I take a deep breath, and hopefully your issue is resolved by them. Got it? Thanks.